Welcome back! I always say that, even though you probably have never gone anywhere. Now, let's walk around town and see if Kitty has anything to say with my tiger. Meow, meow, meow. Well, that's different than before. And... I'm just gonna go around and talk to some people. What do you got to say? That, you kid! With your dad back, I can open up shop again. How about a discount? Welcome to my store. A discount, eh? Well, alright, well... That's the same price as... Well, the medicinal herbs are 6 instead of 8 here, so... And the antidote herbs are 8 instead of 10, so, you know... I could buy a couple. I'll buy one. He's giving me a discount. I'll put it in the bag. There you go. Nope, I'm cool. Sure thing. Alright. Um, I took that a long time ago, buddy. You don't have to tell, keep telling me to look at an empty drawer. Thank you very much. Well, when we came out of the church, we noticed this guy. See, look, purple is in. Look at this. Purple is the new black. Everyone's starting to wear purple. Look at this shit. Ugh. That gem you're carrying looks so mysterious. So this is called a gold orb. May I take a quick look at that orb? Sure. Then hands over the gold orb. What a fine quality jewel. Thanks, I appreciate it. Zen receives the gold orb. How thoughtful of your father to give this to you, young one. Little boy, no matter what life brings you, never ever give up. Foreshadowing. Hmm. Rumors going around that Papa has a very powerful enemy. If only you might be able to help him. Well, yeah, I help him anyway. Shut your balls. I'm a good boy. I level up. Like, if everyone can just level up and be strong like this, I wonder why everyone's not doing it. And they all just stay like little bastards forever. <laughs> I don't need to go shop because it has crap items compared to what I bought at uh, Ass, whatever that town was. So, when you come down here. Oh, you have to solve the mystery of um, everything vanishing in this town. That's right. That's right. Let's see. A little off topic, but have you seen my chopping board? I dropped the volume down to 30%, so make my voice will come through better. It's always had this problem with emulators. Oh, I, I realize also if you turn this way, you can actually see this, so it's not really an Easter egg. But, whatever. Uh, let's just center this. Okay. So he's looking for his chopping board. And this guy looking for anything? And what about anyone in here? I'm just gonna barge in your house and ask for shit. She's missing something from her sewing box. Okay. No. <laughs> nah, he's talking about the Santa Rosa stones. Blah, blah, blah. We know. What about you, Missy? Why do I have hiccups? I have not been drinking alcohol. <laughs> uh, what about you? Anything? Damn! Hiccup time. I didn't need all that. That darn blasted girl always treated me like a little child. What happened to all the stew I was cooking here? It's gone! Grandpa was so hungry, she had just told me. Zen moved the lid in the pot, but nothing was inside it. That is different than before. As you know, I did say there was stew in it before. So, chopping board, something from her sewing box. There's some missing stew from a pot. I wonder if the church is missing anything. Oh, who would rob from a church? Lots of people, actually. The church takes in tons of money all the time and pays no taxes. Is that handsome man who was standing in front of the church still there? Really? Oh my, I wonder if perhaps he's fallen for me. I've always wanted to do a nun. Dude, if a nun was that way with me, I'd be like, sure, man. I'm just gonna... Just, hell yeah, man. I'll just get my freak on with this nun. You know? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's just pick some flowers and throw them down. I want to rearrange these. This is how I want them. I want that one there, and that one there. Actually, you don't know how they reset. Let's see. Anyone else missing anything? You've 
got to solve the mystery. Does this fat old merchant have anything missing? There was once a king named Pappas. Of course, that man's much better looking than your father. How would you know? If memory serves me right, there was a king named Pappas. Of course, he was better looking. If you had to think about it, then I haven't been yet right. Yeah. You're the little spelunker I met before. Remember me from the cave entrance? Recently, a stranger came in town and started asking everyone about everything. As I saw, he was out by the church. You'd best be careful. Where did my glass go? Aha, here it is. So many odd things have been happening recently. Oh gosh, can you really see me? Thank goodness I found someone who could actually notice me. Who am I, you ask? Just a second. Uh, I just can't seem to relax here. If I'm not mistaken, there's a house in this village with a basement. Why don't you wait for me there? There's only one house with a basement. Mine. <gasps> what a quickie dink! Let's go and check it out, shall we? At least they kept this the same. And I'm a pawn on a chess table once again. <laughs> Holy shit, man! I'm missing the cutting board! I really came! I'm Bella of the Elfkin. Of the Elfenkin. Our realm is in great peril! I came to the human realm to ask for help, but not a soul has been able to see me. I even pulled a variety of pranks hoping someone would notice. I seem to be the only one who can see me. Shh, we don't. Not like someone's coming. I heard voices and thought that someone was down here, but I guess it's just you. Oh, it's freezing. You should come upstairs before you catch a cold plane down here alone. It does seem like no one else can see me. Anyway, will you come to our realm? You can listen to the whole story from Lady Poen. Sure. Take me to the elf world, where magically it controls the seasons. Unlike the tilt and rotation of the earth in relation to the sun, you know, I mean, the real stuff. But hey, this is a fantasy game. Anything's possible here. Time to go. And we're going to have to do some more grinding soon, so I'll let you know when that is. Now we're just doing exposition and story. It really came. Let's go meet Lady Poen. You don't control this. She just takes you straight up on these lily pads. Through and through, through the tree. And greetings, Lady Poen. As you commanded, I have brought back a human knight. <coughs> a six-year-old boy. Splendid, and what a cute little knight he is, too. Don't be ridiculous, even looking like that. He is... You did what you could, Bella. I take... I take note of it all. We up. I'm cute. We need to get together. Your name is Em? Oh, she's probably trying to say that even he looks like that young and, and fair skin, he's, she's probably trying to say he's a young child. And the elves who are looking young are older, so she was probably trying to get that across. It's like, I know! I'm not going to flirt with this boy. He's obviously not 300 years old. Your name is Zen. I'd like to welcome you to the fairy village. It seems that you have some sort of unique power that allows you to see us. Zen, I have a request for you. Will you accept it? No, bitch. Just put out. Okay, I'm good. One of our kingdom's most valuable treasures, the spring flute, has been stolen. If it isn't returned to us, the whole world will never again see springtime. Zen, won't you please receive the, f the spring flute? Sure, why not? Excellent! That's quite honorable of you to attend this task. Bella, you shall go with him as well. Yes, Lady Bowen. Then I pray you will be able to return safely with the flute. We of the fairy folk do not possess the strength to swing a sword. Sir Zen, please, we implore you that you listen to Lady Powan's plea. If you don't have the strength to swing a sword, then why do you sell them? It's kind of weird, but I won't think too much into that. This is the land that oversees the seasons, the fairy kingdom. If it continues this way and we are unable to bring about spring, the world will freeze over. Um, no, I'm cool. I don't want to do anything. Do, 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 do. Although I, I don't think there'll be anything in these pots, these flower pots. 
but I'm still gonna destroy everyone I see one time. And of course, there's a magnificent candlestick. It must have been shaped by a skilled craftsman. And the church gets magnificent crap. Because they're bringing all that gold and pay no taxes. Okay, okay, okay. I've said it twice. Do, 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 do. <laughs> if you head to the north, you'll find the winter country. Here there is a castle called the Ice Palace around those parts. Unfortunately, the entrance to the palace has been securely locked with an ancient key. <gasps> oh my, so you're the human knight summoned to aid the revived retrieval of the flute? The flute's vile thieves have set up their hideout inside the Ice Palace. Can't understand the words. Well, he can't. He can't read anyway. So how would he read elf words? Okay, great. He can't understand the ones back there. Now there's no books of any interest. Stop having a double standard. I thought there were some books that she would read for you. Um, I guess not. That must have been in only one version. Ah, uh, boy. There's a book left open. Read it for me! Stop being so... coy. Gazing at the spring landscape is very beautiful from here, but there's no spring landscape. Okay, let's see if there's anybody out here. I can only rotate it. I can only rotate the map this far, so this is obviously not a full town. Or it's just not a town they felt like rendering. All the way. Hmm. I don't like it where I can't see shit. I want to zoom out. Well, I guess you could zoom out with the zoom out button. Actually, it's not working here. So, yeah. Lady Palin is just too naive. A place where fairies, humans, and monsters can live together? What was she thinking? That's why our treasured flute was stolen. It was just pouty, pouty, pouty. Paulin truly is a kind and gentle soul. She even allows a slime like me to live in this village. Whoa, that 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 thing you've got with you is, is a killer panther! How could a deadly demon world beast like the killer panther even be tamed by a human? Because I'm special, and he's awesome, he, he kicks ass, he's Barongo. That's why. Someone's messaging me, great. Wait, there have been fewer and fewer customers. Oh well, what can I do? Come to the general store, how can I help you? We've got a huge inventory, what do you what do you want? Well, I already have the boomerang. Um Barongo can only equip the stone fangs, but let's give it to him. Of course. Yes, yes, just a moment. Do you need anything else? No, I'm pretty cool right now. Stone things. Okay, we're good. Maybe he could equip the stone cape. You know, who knows. Ah, oh, I just love a good hot bath. Soaks right through to the bones. By the way, have you heard about the dwarves in the western cave? Say no. Well, it seems that long ago, this one dwarf discovered the secret to lockpicking. After that, he was banished from the village. I feel sorry for the old dwarf. He wouldn't have been banished if Lady Powen was around. <gasps> foreshadowing. Well, plot points or something. Not foreshadowing, but so. I know what happened. The little Miss Cretan who stole the flute headed north of here. So, nya 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 nya. Welcome to my store, it's an armory. May I be of assistance? You're buying? What are you going to buy? How about a fur hood for myself? Bronze shield for myself? Scale armor for myself? Leather underpants for Barongo. You can put a thong on a tiger. Outstanding. Rag clothes. Well, let's give him the underpants. Uh, let's see. Ropa, ropa interim is the Spanish word for underpants. I'm sure it fits you perfectly. Yeah, I'm gonna buy whatever I can afford. Let's see, the fur hood puts me to 39, the bronze shield puts me to 38, and the armor is 38. So the fur hood gives me the most net gain per item. 
so hood. Now I need 600, 720 to get the rest of that stuff. So, do 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 do. Yeah, first the fur hood. You can't. May I reorganize them? Sure you can. Everything is reorganized. Would you like to equip it? Yeah. I'm sure it fits you perfectly. Well, I only have 240 left, so it's not 350 or 370, so we're good. I didn't search that cabinet. I'm growing less. Holy water. Okay, cool. Can't go that way. Okay, now we're good. And I'm going to come out here and grind a little bit till I have the money to buy those two other items, and then I'm going to start recording again. So, see you in a little bit. And we are back! Got the items, so let's go to the western cave and talk to that dwarf, even though we probably don't need to. We'll go and do it anyway. And there's a lot of new enemies around here, too, to encounter, so it's always fun to see the sights and fight the enemies. fight, See the sights and fight the fights. Actually, I think the reason they gave you um, the cloaks, the those, um, what are they called? The ones that's hand-woven cloaks, is so you can put them in the bag and give them to your monsters when you start catching them later and have some gear to equip them with. Because not every monster equips everything, and some items aren't exactly easy to find. Maybe I should have kept some. Those were plants and something, and now we have troglodytes. I had a funny uh, encounter with D&D with Trilodites once. And then there was someone on a, We were on a cliff and uh, on a high rock. And oh, he dropped a chest. Bamboo spear. And we were on a taller plateau in a cave. And there's the cave. And Trilodites were down below. And our DM's like, he probably knows parabolic arcs. So maybe if he fires an arrow up, he might hit one of you because he can't really see. Let's see what it's say. And one of my DM companions goes, but He's a troglodyte! Okay, now we have... Oh, we've seen these enemies before. But I'm the military, so I'm just gonna... He's like, someone calls you a troglodyte. It's usually for a reason. Okay, this guy would not be intelligent enough to know parabolic arcs. And our DM's looking at the stats and he goes, He has an intel of 12. I mean, he, he's not stupid. So... <laughs> but he, he didn't do that anyway. He figured the odds of the... Oh, look, dragons. New enemy for this Let's Play. I have Barongo on um, offensive all out, and I'm just attacking myself all out. Because the elven lady you get, she has a good heal spell. DM had a point, but then again, we had a point that he probably would be able to know we were up there. He knew we were up there, but how would he know where we're at? I mean, we had total concealment. There's no way that he would have been able to shoot the weapon like that and do any kind of damage. Because if he just wanted to make it over that arc... It would have been so weakly fired. Ooh, Spiny is the updated version of the cactus. Cactus balls. That would have been so he had to rethink how he was going to attack us with the troglodytes. Well, let's talk to the slime. A human and a fairy! I didn't steal the flute, I swear. Zally did it. It was all his idea. Okay, he's, he just got a stiffy, a slime stiffy, by, by seeing an elf and a, a human. That dude's got some serious fetishes. Look at him. He's all happy. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking too much into this, I know, but anyway. Sure surprised me when Zally went in that cave, and when Zally went and did that. All this time, I thought it was Lady Poen who managed me. I was out for revenge. Came from the fairy village, did you? For your troubles, I'll show you where to find our lockpick secret. You'll find our lockpick secret in a treasure chest at the very bottom of this cave. Please get Zally's life back on the right path. There was nothing in here in the original version, so... Let's see if they put anything in here. Nope! We're going to have to leave the boy in the slime. Okay, we've seen this. I'm probably going to edit out most of the monster footage now, after this. we basically seen it. Oh, come on, Bella, heal me. Let's see, plan. Mm, I can't control her, actually. I, I can't even control her. With her. Yeah, I can't do tactics with her. Let's 
so. Now this is a new enemy for this Let's Play, the Healer. I guess I can keep this battle on. It's only a healer. And we're just kicking ass right now. I won't say I'm over leveled, but I will say that I did a lot. I did, the grinding I did was enough where. Okay, I'm trying to get loot. I could have added some bonus treasure in the cave. Who knows? Nah, just um, more of the same. Let's go down here. Oh, this is a staircase, right? There's a guy down here that says, I'm looking for the thief key secret too. Yeah. And that's about all you can do down here. Find the lockpick secret? Yeah, too bad, I'm gonna find it first. Suckers! There's nothing down here. Just some poison marsh. I actually think there was like something on one of those bodies or something, but... You know, I don't think it's worth searching. If someone quotes me wrong, I'll come back here and... At least if someone quotes me wrong, I can go back and search again, but... Anyway. Barongo's power leveling up. He's level 6 right now. It's not too bad. I normally go left. But this time I went right. Let's see. Medicinal herb. Use. Bella. She's... She doesn't level up, so... Editing out battles is annoying. But we gotta do it. Bella keeps casting sap and wasting her MP. I really wish she wouldn't do that. Uh, sigh. I knew that would take me here. Alright, well, whatever. I guess not. Gotta figure out. Oh, a new enemy. The upgraded version of the caterpillars, obviously. Fire pillars or something. Larva kings. We'll hold now. He died pretty easy. With all the variety of monsters. Still kicking ass. Ah, new enemies. Skunkers. Upgraded version of the weasels. Which have a slightly different name than the original version. Like Skunk Weasel in here. They're something else. Ah, they dropped the chest. I found the wyvern wing. Well, nothing down here, so... It's my first time going through a cave, and I have already had enough to last a lifetime. Oof. I'm out of breath. Zen, you're still doing alright. I admire you. Yeah, well. That's what I do. I kick ass, and you suck. What can I say? Let's go left. Doesn't make a difference. Still leads to that. And once again, I'm at this junction that doesn't do anything, so I'm probably gonna have to go back upstairs and find a different route down. This is obviously not the way to go. Hmm. There's some stairs going down. And what's over here? Hmm. Larva kings drop medicinal herbs, but their underrated cousins, the green ones, drop seeds. Wisdom seeds. Huh. I saw a chest up there. Larva kings also breathe fire, apparently. See, Bella's wasting almost all her MP now. Agility seed. Yay. There were stairs down there. So go back down. Um, Bella's getting her ass kicked. Because she just ran out of MP and she was my healer. Oh well. Let's just go the right way. 
Cause there's no rest for the greedy. Hero got a level and learned heal more. Hmm. Here's a chest. It's a scroll titled The Secret of Lockpicking. A mysterious aura from the scroll surrounded Zen. Zen magically learned learns the lockpicking secret. Parchment suddenly crumbled in dust. Okay, suddenly I can just open doors, don't need a key. Um Haha, mine. Obtain 120 bucks. That's it. Find the seed of life. Well seeds usually do spring up life. Okay. La 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 la. Go down this way. And get our ass out of this cave, go back and sleep. Okay. Oh, that schmuck went the wrong way. So. Pooey for him. How about that? Blaze Lizard cast Blaze. Reminds me of the first magicians you find. The only spell they knew were Blaze in the first Dragon Warrior game. Well, I got the secret of lock picking. Does this schmo say anything? Let's see. Aha! You've scrounged up our lockpick secret! If it's a simple locked door, then you should have no problems opening it. Please, sell his life back on the right path. <laughs> He's probably just sprawling. Whatever that word is, the, the sound of spring makes, bang, you know, like, it's just bouncing around. Barongo is now level 7. It's probably just the sound, you know, boing, 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 boing. But, just, you can't just put boing in a game. And have us not think something immature. I mean, it's just, it's the way it works. Where's, where's the fucking elfin village? Hero's got the lowest agility. He's always going last. Oh well. So let's go spend the night and get our MP back and go up north and... Check out the ice castle and kick the thief's ass. Welcome to the Traveler's Inn. It's 12 bucks. And look, I have a thousand again. It's like I never spent anything. Morning, Zen. You look terrible. Did you have a bad dream? What? The fairy kingdom is in trouble? Wah ha 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 ha. You're still dreaming. I'll be at home today because I have some affairs to look into. You can play, but don't leave the village. Ah, uh, you, you fall asleep and knock your ass back into reality, so you gotta go down the stairs again. Why do they do that? I don't know. I really don't. Okay, well, time to leave and go up north. Okay, let's go north and use the secret of the key to go into the ice palace. I need to get her stop from using her magic. Um, let's see. See, you can't set her stuff, just Barongo. <laughs> Which is stupid, because she keeps using sap, and I don't want her to use sap. It's bothersome. So many attacks. Let's see, can I zoom out on this map? Hmm, sort of. I know that there's... It doesn't look like there's anything around to the right. So this is a simple map. But I haven't explored it all, obviously. You think there's a reward for exploring all of the map? Probably not. This is a new enemy. He looks like the boss we killed in the ghost busting mission. I didn't even get to read his name, I kicked his ass so fast. That's the thing about Dragon Warrior. 
you get new enemies, or you just get regular enemies, and... And if you do some grinding, you tend to kill them pretty quick, and you don't get to see what they're all about. So now I'm trying to exp Ah! The new enemies. These guys were in Dragon Warrior 3. Sort of around the beginning. You go to the first city, and these guys were around. They would cast sleep on you. Look how easily I'm just taking care of them. Fine by me. It's just um, a little disheartening when new enemies don't have a pose. Oh, that's right, this floor is really slick. Oh, wow, these are new too. These are the upgraded versions of the code that we saw in the mansion. Kapala Nagas. Well, no biggie. They're dead. Okay. I found. Wisdom Seed. And another new enemy, the Dragima. Dragima was introduced in Dragon Warrior 2. Well, I know that there was a, a third, a second type of Drake in Dragon Warrior 1. Mm, Magi Drake, maybe? But I think the Magi Drake is not the same as the Dragima. Hmm. Gotta check them all. And there's... oops. Anything here? Gotta check around the corner. Um, nope. Looks like we're good. Uh, okay. Let's just, um, slide around on the ice a little more. Drakemas are annoying. They have both heal and sleep. Oh, yeah. You have to fall into it initially. And this is just sort of a um, tutorial on how to do this. You can go up right and around, or you can go up left, around, left again. I'll do the short way. It's pretty simple. Now here, there's some chests to get. If you know how, and that's not the right way to do it. And let's see if memory serves me right. Um, come down here, go this way. Nope, that's not it. I don't want to go that way. Well, I maybe I want to. Let's find out. Yeah, okay, there's some, there's some loot here. Seven Almirages kind of suck. Because I take a deep breath, and... <clears throat> can't kill them all in two rounds. Wyvern wings! Yay, we did it! The introduction of the bag was nice in Dragon Quest. It doesn't let you store a lot of things, but then again, it does make the game a little bit easier. Um, but that was one of the weaknesses of Dragon Quest, in my humblest of opinions, because... Well... You just had way too limited, way too lim way too much of a limit on inventory space, and it was always a pain. Because what what it did was, yeah, it adds a little bit of strategy to fuck, <laughs> to fucking yes, and it adds a little bit of strategy to the game, like take which what you only think you need, but it made items not worth it. For instance. Full moon herbs. You never wanted to take one. It just. It, it wasted a spot, so curing paralysis was not a priority for you. What was a priority for you would be. Oh shit. World tree leaves, or. Um. An herb, maybe, but. Even herbs didn't really matter much. Because you didn't want to waste the space on that. Okay, I need to go... I know what I'm doing. Actually, I don't. Well, I mean, I did this before. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I, I think I... Go up first, over, this way, and then... This way. And then we can go... Not that way. No. Okay, what we're gonna do is... Go this way, this way, this way. Yaha! See? Smart. And I'm not smart, because... 
because I've been down this path before. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. If I go this way, this way, this way, go around the bend, come back. Aha! See? Knew I knew what I was doing. Because I'm smart like that. Because I kick so much ass. Okay. Um, you don't want to fight him yet. You want to get the loot. The fewer enemies on the screen, the closer up you get. And that's always nice. Aha! Aha. No, 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 Um, we've got to go around the bend. I just want to go up, down, um, maybe you have to kill him first because you can't get those any other way. And I'm thinking that because, um, if you slide around, you will... We've been that way. That's well. That's the way we came. Let's go back. That's right. Okay, see if you go up and around this way. You would never want peppered moth powder or eggs or anything. Eggs or webs or anything. Okay, so you can't stop in the middle. Oh, that's because they're frozen on his throne. Yeah. How smart are we? Uh, let's go this way. Drakemas have wayfarer clothes. What a useless item. This late in the game, you know. Seriously. <sighs> okay. To prepare ourselves. Medicinal herb, give to Barongo. Medis uh, medicinal herb. We're going to give him a few. Give him. There's four. And. Give. Me some. But I'm going to have to put some shit in the bag. See, if you didn't have this version, you wouldn't be able to do this. But I think five introduced the bag. So, this game actually is legit for the bag. And like it or hate it. It was here to stay. So I'm just um, giving all this crap up to the bag. And I should probably use this stuff on myself. I usually save them though for later. <clears throat> no real reason to, to save them, but... Let's see, I've got ten left. Let's give myself some. And herbs are viable because they can save your MP when running through caves. Since you can stack them like this now, you can have 90 of them. And there's never any real use for your money later in the game. So... Because you've already equipped yourself with all the best stuff, and you don't buy consumables. Okay, this should be it. This should be good. Uh, but before we do this, let's use an herb or two. Let's see. You could use one. And I could use one. And because there are only six in my hometown, she only has 10 HP missing, but we'll give her one anyway. Now we can fight this chump. Who the heck are you? What business do you have with the great lord Zowie? Eh? Yeah? Yeah, I get it. Poen must have sent you to come get her precious little flute back. Sorry, Poen, the village, you banished my grandpa from the village. If you want the flute back, you're ready to fight for it. It's mine now. Zally appeared. If I change Barongo to normal, he'll use herbs sometimes. He only has one other attack. I've got some spells. I've got uppers, so what's upper? Bella. And let's upper go. Yeah, she definitely needs upper. And I'll upper myself, just for good measure. Damn, she's getting her ass kicked. She's gonna heal herself, so it's okay. Or she should heal herself. 
Um, heal more. Gale. Let's see what Gale does. See. Ten damage. That's it. I'm just gonna... Yeah, fifteen. Ten, twenty. He whacks away at me. I do seventeen. He gets me for three, and he's dead. And you have to probably. Upper's good on belly. I, the rest of us probably don't need it. And Zally finds the magic water. Oh, you find the magic water from him. I think that's a 100% drop from him. Ah, crap! You guys are pretty strong. Uh, you mean Lady Powell wasn't the one who kicked my grandpa out of the village? But, but the Snow Queen! Whoa, ho, 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 ho. I lied to him, yes. <laughs> It seems that I have a nuisance on my hands. Looks like my plan to manipulate this child worked like a charm. Now I have to clean up this mess. Bow before me. And turn into a terrifying monster. This <gasps> music. First time you fight one of these, and you have to be a boss. So, let's see, spell. I can upper Bella again, but you see, this one goes a lot of magic at you. So. You probably. It'd be great if you had a magical defense barrier. Kind of like Big Guard was in Final Fantasy VII. Fight. Now we'll just have to fight her out with more attrition. Oh, fuck me. Um, she should heal herself. See, I didn't want to waste it for her because she goes like before I do. Sometimes actually she goes after Snow Queen can can do that a few times. Got a crit! Ice. Okay, she can't heal everybody, so I'm going to use an item, a medicinal herb. She might heal me, so I'll do it to her on though. Nope, she used to fire. Okay, she's probably gonna heal me. Yep. Time to waste it. Aha, well. I'll use an herb on myself. She might kill Barongo. Nope. Um, so I'll do it. Here we go. I should probably be controlling Barongo and make him use magic or but it's alright. He's just as strong as I am now. Ice Bolt. Well, I'm st I can still take another couple hits, so I'm good. Uh, she doesn't heal all of her damage. Um, I might get healed by Bella. Nope. And it doesn't matter anyway. Each party member receives 650. Leveling up is so cool! Alright, 9 hit points, 5 magic points, and 2 strength, 4 agility, 1 wisdom, 1 luck, a defense point, and I learned identify. Leveling up is so cool! Barongo got to level 9, HP 7, he got 4 strength, 4 agility, 1 wisdom, 5 luck, and 2 defense. 200 bucks, and she has a 100% drop, which is the wyvern wings. Yeah. Ah, my body. It's too hot. Ah. Oh. He's just like what Kandar the Thief was in Dragon Warrior 3. The guy who had you fight his goons. Or he's a goon of Kandar. Either one. What? So the Snow Queen was really an evil monster? Hm. Looks like I was completely tricked. Oh crap, my grandpa's gonna kill me. I gotta get home quick. Grandpa, grandpa. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. If you want the spring flute, it's in the church just over there. Don't forget to return to the village. See ya! How come he can walk on the ice and I can't? Find the spring flute. Doo -doo -doo. Boomerang. Didn't have to buy it, but I did anyway. Okay. Well, uh -huh. give it to the bag, and I'm gonna use the wire and I can't. 
Oh, Zali already ran off. He's probably not even gonna say he's sorry. I still have the wyvern rings, okay. They stay with you. Let's go this way, up, round. I think all the random encounters are gone now, so it doesn't really make a difference. Alright. Nope! Nope, totally wrong. When you get a stronger weapon, it's always one of those up-in-the-air things if you're keen on strategy. Whether or not you accept it, or you keep the weaker weapon, in this case, the boomerang. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a... I got this. <laughs> okay, let's get the hell out of here. I wonder if there's like a mini game around here or something. Cause um, let's see. You know, there's like tables and things. You know, there's a, you know what I'm saying? Those games, those pikes or whatever. Anyway, I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, new enemy, the cactus ball. Well, new for this. Let's Can you check him out. Ah, never mind. He's totally dead. Spring, la -di -da -di -da. Now, if you want closure, you can go visit him at his grandpa's house. Oops, I gotta walk around the mountains. I'll do that. I will talk to him. You know, Bella didn't cast sap in that battle. What a bitch. I don't remember her casting it. Come on. What I liked about Dragon Warrior 3 was if you go into the pyramid, you can optionally get the Golden Claw, which just carrying it in your party increased the odds of encounters by every step. If you took a step, you got an encounter. That's the way it worked. And it was really useful if you were power leveling. And if you didn't want to anymore, you put it in the vault. But in the remake, for Game Boy, Hooray, Zali's back! Yay, yay! Thanks to you, Zali's finally seen the yard of his wife. Thank you very much. What a sleazy creature. She must have been to trick me like that. By the way, you guys were really, really tough. We'll have another match someday. No way I'll lose then. You can get him in your party later. He's like the only one of his type you can get. Um, he'll ask to join. You can say yes. He's okay. He's just a, a brute hitter. Uh, but in the remakes of Dragon Warrior 3, they took that out. You got attacked every step, trying to leave the pyramid by like four shadows, just like before. But once you got it out, the curse was lifted, and it no longer increased the encounter rates like one every step. It didn't increase encounter rates at all. So you could no longer use it to level up aggressively. Yeah, it was the strongest weapon in the game for the fighter class, but you didn't want to equip it. It was there to level up with, and to take that mechanic out was a real drag. So a few things of the remakes that you just don't like, some of the systems you just want to... You want some of the systems to stay the same, and that was one of them. You retrieve Lady Palmas flute. Wow, you're the greatest, then. So can I have a date? I mean, you've got purple hair, and I'm wearing purple. I mean, like, purple is the new black, right? The Snow Queen was the puppet master behind all of this? Yes, the Snow Queen. Yippee, now spring we're finally gone. Now please hand the food over to Lady Pow and quickly. So someone thought to freeze the world over, did they? I just hope this isn't the calm before the storm. You made my longtime customers very happy. Anyway, are you really returning home? Too bad. Stay a while, okay? I almost forgot. Welcome to the general store. How may I help you? Uh, I'm not going to buy stuff from him because, well, I can get cheaper herbs in my hometown. Oh, I love a hot bath. No demon world? It's quite an uninviting cold world. I don't even want to return to that place. After, after this? No, oh, skeleton likes hot water. You did it, youngsters! This means the end of a long winter. By the way, welcome to my store. This is my armory. 
Well, too bad we've already bought everything we can. So, now you could probably buy things here for, if you had foresight, you would buy them here for your upcoming party members. But I'm going to pretend I don't have foresight, and so I won't do it. Why? Because, just to make it a little more challenging. Even though I've used foresight before with this game, you know, because I've actually beaten this game. With the remake, the, the DS version, and I played the original Famicom version, and then the DS version. I guess some humans do come in handy. Lady Paul and witnessed your battle in her mind's eye. You are the savior of our nation. Thank you so very much. Now, in the original version, some of these books she would read to you. She goes, I can read this for you, and you would say sure, and then they would give you some books to read, but in this version, they just took that out. Why? Someone got lazy. Okay, I'm probably bashing people premature, I know. This is a land that oversees the seasons of the fairy kingdom. If it had continued this way, we would have been unable to bring forth spring. The world would have frozen over. I don't want to talk to that guy. Oops. There we go. Thank you so very much. Now spring will be able to return to this world. That's the spring flute! Magnificent! Now Zen, please don't turn away. He turns away. Zen, well done. With this, I can finally bring spring to the world. I wonder what would be the best way to express our gratitude. I know I'll make you a promise. When you grow up, if you're ever in trouble, return to our kingdom. I will gladly come to your assistance. Does that suffice? Don't forget us. Well, our time to part has come. Well, then I will never forget you. Please carry this with you so you'll never forget me too. He takes a tree branch. The branch may be bare and withered now, but... When spring returns to the world, I'm sure it'll be healthy and blooming again. Well then, take care, Zen. She nods. Owen raised the spring flute to her lips. You don't get to see an animation if we're blowing it? Eh, that sounded wrong. She's puff-puffing her flute. I like the music. I really do. It was a flute, not a lute, right? Yeah. Now we'll just watch a little bit of animation. Mm. Mm. Mm, kind of contrast, but it's all right. Not too picky. Now go home. Be a good little boy. You're only six. I would at least turn around and watch it vanish, you know? Bye-bye! And there's one little leaf. One little blossom leaf from the tree. It looks like a cherry blossom. And since this came from Japan, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a cherry blossom. Look at his face. It's, it's kind of weird to me, you know? Anyway, Dad, I'm just going to clean out the basement. And I got some shit in here. I need to... There we go. Oh, look, I'm hiding. Hey, no one will find me back here. Let's get out of here. Oh, hey there. Oh, hey, there you are, little master. Where have you been all this time? A summon from Reinhardt Castle came from Lord Pappas. He has already set out. He wanted to take you with him. He searched every corner. You were nowhere to be found, so Lord Pappas decided he'd go ahead and leave. If you hurry on ahead, you might just catch up with him. Good luck, little master. So they're, they're finally going to let you leave to catch up with them. Probably because he said he would take you anyway. Whoops, just wait a moment, little master. Something has fallen out of your... Oh my, this is a famous cherry tree branch. I wonder if it'll begin to bloom, bloom now that it's getting a bit warmer. How would a branch bloom? A branch has been detached from a tree and is dead. Anyway. Yeah, even still, it's beautiful. Shall we arrange it in the little master's room too? Yeah, sure. Understood. Well, little master, you'd better hurry and catch up with Lord Papa's. It's like a minigame or something. I don't know. Ah, it feels nice that a warm breeze just blew into my heart. Looks like spring is finally here. I'm gonna stock up on some herbs. 
save the game, and this is a good spot to end this Let's Play. Sorry that episode 2 was chopped up into two pieces. I was kind of dumb and resized things. Um, what, I can't buy anything from you? Oh, come on. Hmm, they're having problems with the session right now. If you're going, be careful. You gave me discounts, and now... <laughs> you asswipe. What a cock tease. Offered him for me for six that one time, and now I can't buy from you ever again. Well, maybe someone else around town is selling herbs. Um, I don't see who. It was that fucker. Ah, uh, fuck it, I'm just gonna save. No more discount herbs. So now you know, this is that's the only time in the game you can buy them at discount. Oh, hello, puppies. Zen, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. No use yelling over it. I was just offering a prayer to God before I set out. You should pray as well. I'll be waiting at the village entrance. Alright, well, like I said, maybe, maybe this was the key, and maybe now I can buy some herbs. Come on. We're in an herb shop. Let me buy some shit. God damn it. I'm just frustrated because I was going to buy about 10 of them at a discount. I mean, come on, that would have been 20 bucks less. Alright, alright, I'll just buy them somewhere else. Let's save. Gotta save. Yes, I'll be continuing. But, not for you for this episode. Tune in next time for part four, because this was part three, and I gotta get to editing. So, thanks for watching, and tune in later.